The action on the track turns to the one lap hurdles. Dalila Mohammed, the fastest woman in the world this year, she goes in the third of the semi finals. As always, only the first two plus two fastest losers. Brutal qualification as they attempt to gain access to Thursday's final. There's the lineup for the first of the three semi finals. Susanna Hainover, the defending champion for the Czech Republic in six. Cory Carter of the United States outside her, the third fastest woman in the world this year. That Shamir Little went ninth on the all time list when she qualified second for the US team. But remember, she snapped a barrier and then stumbled badly in her heat. It was only the fact that she's got her lifetime vest on the fourth flat down that she got out of jail. The magnificently named Sparkle McKnight just missed the medal in the Pan American Games two years ago from Trinidad. Corey Carter flexing, rocking and rolling. Fell in the semi-finals two years ago in Beijing. Let's hope history doesn't repeat itself for her. Susanna Hainover, double world champion. Olympic bronze in London, fourth in Rio, so often gets it right on the big occasion. Behind her in five, Petra Fontany, semi-finalist in Beijing two years ago, lifetime best this season, and we'll need a big run here. Wenda Nell, twice African champion, made the final in Beijing running pretty close to lifetime best form this year. We'll need to get out hard with Hainova in six. Johanna Linkiewicz, European silver medalist last year. And on the inside for Jamaica, Leah Nugent, third in the Jamaican National Championships, sixth in the Olympic final last year. Nugent, Jamaica in two, Linky Bits, Poland three, Nell, South Africa four, Fontenive, Switzerland five, Hanover, Czech Republic six, defending champion, Carter, USA seven, McKnight, Trinidad eight, Little, USA on the outside in the trademark specs and the headband. Ninth on the all time list in that incredible US Championship final. So, full focus required here. First semi-final of the women's 400 meter hurdles, only two guaranteed a place in Thursday's showdown. They are away, the first time of asking. And Little has gone out pretty hard on the outside. So too, Corey Carter, and Carter has made up ground on McKnight outsider. Hainover has run a more steady first 200 metres. It's Carter leading then, Little still going well on the outside, and Hainover, the defending champion, now beginning to come through in the middle, making a big move in that third 100 metres. It's Carter and Hainover with Little on the outside. That's better from the American in lane nine. Remember what a mess she made of the heats. And Hainover has timed this really well. Hainover taking that last barrier. A little stutter from Carter. Hainover and Carter miles clear there. And I think it may have been Wendon Nell who came through for third. So she'll have to wait to see if she can go through as the fastest loser. But what a run from the defending champion, yet again, timing it well, and yet again, delivering when the pressure was on. Well, it's all about getting your rhythm right. When really. there's little, she was on the outside again. She's disappointed. She still didn't clear those last couple of hurdles very well at all. She was stuttering into it, getting um, all sorts of problems with her technique. Now we saw coming through into third, so she's gonna have to wait. Remember, it's just the first two, and then the two fastest qualifiers through. But you, you're right, Rob, pain of a runner, controlled, absolutely perfect race, really. She left it until the last 100 metres, closing all the time, really, on Carter, the American, just on her outside. Carter, though, run well. She only had to go in the first two. She knew that as she came over that hurdle. They both checked around to make sure there's no one near them. 
And on the inside, you can just see the green vest, really, of Nell of South Africa coming through for third place. But they, she was a long way back. These two are clear and away. Well, how impressive was Susanna Hainover there. She's going for a hat-trick of victories in the four hurdles. She's in the final. So, too, is Cory Carter. Wenda Nell will have to wait and see if 55-7's good enough to go through as a fastest loser. Going back to the track now, the second semi-final of the women's 400 metres hurdles. Pretty cutthroat, as we said, just two to qualify. And this is a pretty loaded semi. There's Peterson there, who really looked so good in qualifying. She won a, sorry, she was second in the heat, 55-22, but easing down, second at the Olympics. A bit nervous tension going through these women. They know this is pretty tough. They know they've got to be on their game all the way through here. That's uh, Tracy of Jamaica. Finalist for Jamaica in the Olympics. And there's the lineup. Pretty much a loaded field, I suppose, to a certain extent. Sprunger, Nathaniel, Peterson, they are there. It's all those could win it. So too could Tracy in lane four. We go through the lineup. On the outside, this is Cassandra Tate. She's got a wild card into this for winning the uh, diamond race. So she went to the trials and just really ran through the motions there. So nothing to be gathered by that sort of performance, but one of the performers to watch here. Polaronzo from Italy, the under 23 champion, just 20 years of age. And then obviously, one to watch. Second in the Olympics. Slot Pedersen became Re Rio's or Denmark's first female medalist in athletics in Rio with that silver medal. Glory Nathaniel, TB in the heat, finishing third with uh, 53, 55, sorry, 30. And then the European bronze medalist, Lee Sprunger of Switzerland, looked very good in that heat, which he won in 55-14. And then the Olympic uh, medalist and twice Jamaican champion, Mr. Tiara Tracy. And obviously the big favourite from the local crowd anyway's point of view. Megan Breesley, so near really to winning, sorry, to getting the uh, final of the World Championships in her first home last time around. Can she make the finals this time? Agata Zupin of Slovenia, European silver medalist in the junior age group. Moving up now to the senior age. Tate, Lorenzo, Peterson, Nathaniel, Springer, Tracy, Beasley, Zupin. Bring up in the middle of the field there running well, but also gone on the outside of her. Nathaniel of Nigeria running well. Nathaniel is pouring down the back straight at the moment. Just on her inside, Tracy of Jamaica also running well. On the outside, Tate of America. So, so far, no major problems for any of these women in the hurdles. Tate running really well. She's out in front at the moment, but coming hard on the inside is the Nigerian. Jamaica coming through now, Tracy. Remember, it's just two to qualify. Tracy now coming over this hurdle on the outside. Tate slightly fading now, but it's Tracy now ahead of the rest of the field. Springer coming through now hard, two to qualify. It looks like it's just gonna be Tracy and Springer. Tate on the outside of America is still holding that third place, but charging through on the inside there, but I think it's still Tate. So really, the form book, I suppose, went to uh, what we expect there, Tracy coming through all the way. Springer though, left it a little bit late, but it's only the first two to qualify. And in the end, probably not too difficult for both those athletes. Pretty reasonable times though, 54.79 for Tracy and 54.82 80, for Springer. 
Good running there from Riston Anna Tracy. Sprung had closed down, as you said, Steve. She left it a little bit late, just looking at the time. Cassandra Tate is in a fastest loser spot, which means there definitely won't be a place in the final for Little, her compatriot, who went in the first heat. But um, the Jamaicans way clear at the moment. And look how much ground Sprunger made up in the red in the centre of your picture in the closing stages. Excellent last 50. Yeah, yeah. I think what real. I think Tracy realised that Springer was going to really be a threat over the last 50. She always comes hard, and I think she went off. Tracy went off. That is very hard indeed to make sure of that place. Springer come through very fast, and there's no need to charge for the line. Those two clear of really Tate on the outside of America. And there is the results of the second semi-final of the women's four hurdles. Tracy making absolutely certain. A uh, big reception for Ailey Doyle of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The third semi final in this women's 400 metre hurdles, Olympic finalist, European champion. She starts in nine. Grace Claxton of Puerto Rico took up hurdling a couple of seasons ago, now down to 55 85. Elaine Seven, Denisa Rosalova of the Czech Republic. 55-41 this season, but a lifetime best of just over 54 seconds. Rhonda White of Jamaica, big improvements already in 2017, down to 54-29. She'll start in lane number six. And then the world leader, Dalila Mohammed of the USA, 52.64 seconds. She's the Olympic champion. Lane four, Sage Watson of Canada. Very near to her Canadian record. 54-39, just outside it this season. She'll start in four. Then Pladosa of Italy, the transferee from Cuba. An Italian husband and coach. She'll start in lane number three. And then Gianna Woodruff of Panama, the new South American champion start on the inside in lane two. The third and final semi-final of the women's 400 meter hurdles. There's your lineup. Mohammed in five. From the USA. The pre-championship favorite. And the favorite to qualify in this final semi-final. So Mohammed in five, that 52.64, the quickest time in the world since 2011. And she's absolutely flying the American. Doyle down the back straight for Great Britain in line. But it's the American, the Canadian Watson in lane number four is running reasonably well as well. And a big cheer round the top bend for the British athlete Doyle, who's rising third as they go round the top bend into the home straight. But it's the world leader. Mohammed, lane five. The top two guaranteed a place in the final on Thursday. Well, the Americans running well, as is the Canadian in lane number four. Mohammed. Watson and in third Doyle of Great Britain and Northern Ireland unofficially 55 seconds exactly She looks to her inside and says good job to Sage Watson from Canada who was in the lane insider well Shamir Little the world number two she's seen her teammate not run as fast as she has done this season and struggle to get into the final but that was Watson and that was a wonderful run by the Canadian 55.05 for her. Ailey Doyle of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Well, she came in in third in 55.33. I think she's just going to make it into that final on Thursday night. But the world leader, Rob Mohammed, well, she ran as expected, but the Canadian insider, Watson, really did hang on to her coattails there, didn't she? Yeah, good, good run from Watson. She closed Mohammed down towards the end. Ailey Doyle taking the second of the fastest loser spots. Tate 
the bronze medalist from Beijing. She's the fastest of the two, but Ailey Doyle's place in the final means that Wenda Nell misses out. But Dalila Mohammed, she was so good when she won the Olympic title last year. A little bit of a wobble since the American champs, but she's back, she's in the final, and what a climax that will be tomorrow night. And there's confirmation of the third and final semi-final in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Mohammed of the USA, Watson and Doyle. Small cue for Doyle, but she is in that final on Thursday night. Well, what a race that promises to be. Hanover is the defending world champion. Dalila Mohammed is the Olympic champion.